Hi guys, my name is Steve Bradshaw. Welcome to another thrilling installment of unboxing a Power 9. Today we are going to be hooking up a HMC. Hurrah! So connecting a HMC to a Power 9 that has never had a HMC before. Uh, thank you all for the positive feedback, but uh, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the dog that is not in the room. Oscar sends his regards. He is very grateful for all the positive feedback. Uh, he's not been furloughed, but you can see he's working from home today. So standing in for Oscar, believe it or not, is another Oscar. Hey, Oscar. Hey, say hi to the guys. This is another Oscar who belongs to one of my colleagues who's working next door. So Oscar likes HMCs, don't you, boy? Hey. Yes, you do. So how do we go about hooking one up? we need, first of all, to put a network connection in the back. So, network connection. This network connection is going on to my management network, where all of my devices are centrally managed from. So not directly to the HMC, we'll talk about that a little later, but onto our management network. Right, on the back here I've got two ports at the top of the system. If this was a uh, rack mounted, this would be on the left hand side of the system, HMC1, HMC2. I'm going to plug into HMC1. I can use either. Got the link light on there, that's good. If this was directly connected to a system and that system was uh, considered a private network, you'll see that in setting inside the HMC, then it would all give it an address automatically as my management network work would, but it would also pop up on the HMC interface screen automatically. So in this case, it won't. I need to find out that IP address. And I've done that deliberately um, because more and more of you now are using virtual HMCs and you need to know what the IP address is on the back of that um, system port. Now, of course, you can ask the network administrator who's in charge of that, but who wants to do that? We want to know our own thing. So this is a pretty useful tip. First of all, looking at the screen on the front there, we can see it's not being managed by HMC because there is no HMC equals on the front there. But to find out what the IP address is on those ports on the back, we need to use option 30. Now, option 30 isn't available unless you're in manual mode. And you can see that we're in normal mode there. We have an N for normal. So let's just go to O2 press enter, switch that, we'll leave that B as it is, and we'll change that November normal to an M for mic for manual. And now we've done that, I can go up to option 30. Option 30 has two uh, things it can report. It's the IP address of the HMC1 port or the IP address of the HMC2 port. I'm interested in the HMC1 port because that's where I put the cable. So 2.35 on my network I'm after, great. So, let's start managing a system. So, if we go into there, I've got my HMC. You can see this is a pretty new HMC because it has zero systems that it's managing with zero partitions and no BIOSes. But good, there's no error messages. Uh, but there is one serviceable event, so something has been logged. So, I'm going to log in with a user. So, there we go. Okay. And the first thing we see is that there are no systems. Well, that's no big surprise. It said there wasn't before. So to hook up a HMC, we're going to use this Connect Systems dialog here. And that asks us for an IP address. So what's the IP address that you are adding? Well, we know that. Uh, so we can put in there that IP address that we just saw from the SRC code on the front. 2.35. Now, I'm not going to worry about the uh, BMC user system name at the moment. Now, this system has never been managed before. So at this point, you think, well, there's no point in putting in a password um, because you know, you're going to be updating the password. If your system had been managed by HMC before, you would need to know that password. Uh, what I tend to find is that this dialog seems to insist on you putting in a password anyway. It says it's mandatory, even though you haven't actually put it in yet. So uh, let's just... Drop in something nice and simple. Okay, and then we'll click on the OK button to add it in. All right, it says it's going to go ahead and find that system. Uh, just asking for confirmation, so I'll click the Add button to do that. And there we have the system. All right, and it's saying it's detected it, and you can see it switched it over to having a picture of a Power 9 tower, but pending authentication. So that means that I've got to put that password in again. So that's why it's a little, uh, little pointless on the previous dialogue. I'm sure they'll fix that in a another release. So I'm going to update that system password. That's the very top option. Now, in, in order to get that dialogue, I had to tick that box. Then this actions comes to life, and then I can do an update systems password. Great. 
and then I can pop in the new HMC access password. Now that is the password that connects this HMC to that HMC port around the back. Okay, uh, so we need to know what that is. Write it down, ladies and gentlemen. It can be reset later, but it is a pain in the backside if you do. All right, so we popped in a password there and we're gonna click on next, apologizing for the shaky uh, camera angles. Right, it's now gonna ask us to actually change the ASMI passwords. ASMI has two passwords, um, two users other than the HMC one by default, which is general and admin. Uh, so you can change them back to the defaults, fine. Uh, I'm just gonna make them all the same for the moment so that it's all nice and easy. Uh, we'll go and review those passwords later as part of our setup document. Uh, make them nice and secure. All right. Notice it did not ask for the admin, just the general password. So you've still got the admin left at its default. So you will need to change that to make it nice and secure. Now it takes a little while for that to change. It's still at pending authentication, even though the system update over here tells me that it's made the change. But if we wait a little bit longer, then the system start talking to one another. They create a negotiation and there we have it. The machine is now set up. From that point onwards, we can uh, power the machine off, power it off, set up um, various LPARs on the machine, and we will be doing that in a subsequent episode. But for now, we have a system that is managed by a HMC. How cool is that? So I'm looking forward to speaking to you again, as is Oscar. Look how enthusiastic he is now we've got a HMC going. Top man. Speak to you soon. Thanks again, and bye.